Hello, welcome to my redstone playground. So this was a requested video from one of my friends. Um, she was wondering about uh, doing redstone doors and things. And I've come up with a few different ways and some different methods of, you know, doing redstone that could work in different ways. So I thought I'd give you a little kind of tour and show how to do these. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do the iron doors. Um, so the thing about when you're building iron doors is if you want them, you know, to, to not be visible, to have no redstone visible, there's only really one way you can do it. Um, so this is, you know, one way that won't work, which is, you know, it won't do anything at all. This one here will work, but the only thing is, um, you've got, you know, once you cover it all up, you put it straight in front of the door so it's obviously not going to be very helpful um, so the only real method you can do is using redstone torches so what I've set up here is a uh, lever and then an inverter on the other side to make it stay on all the time redstone torch there um, going into this block which will then turn this redstone torch off which will turn the block above off as well so when we flip this it'll open up um, so that's the probably the best way of concealing it. I've set up a few demos over here. Um, so this one over here is how you'd see it in this circuit here. So you flick the door, it goes open. But there's only one problem with this. If you're playing on the server and grief is just smash through stuff, you can easily see the redstone. So that's the only downside about that one. So this is how it looks stripped down. So I've got, this is just a little way so you can uh, power blocks that are in midair. So you put um, a block down, piece of redstone underneath that, which powers the block underneath. Repeater takes the signal out and around and up onto the onto the door. Um, so that's that way, but you know, you can't conceal it. So the method I've shown you with the gold block is this one over here. And is totally totally invisible to see from the same height so you know it's a lot better way of uh, concealing and I'll show you this stripped down as well I've just put another lever on here so you can see it working from this perspective so you've got block powering that block there the repeater takes it into this block which is an inverter so it gives a constant signal into this block turns the resistant torch off powers the block above so once that's flicked that torch goes off that to torch goes on opens the door I've been trying to get it a bit more compact but the, the smallest I can manage at the moment uh, there may be another method someone could suggest um, I'm going to show you now a few different circuits that are used in adventure maps and all sorts of things that you can also do stuff with doors so this here is uh, called a T flip flop it's uh, the, com the most compact design at the moment, but it's also the slowest. But you know, it only takes four blocks by one block space. So, or two if you count the button. You know, so this is how this works. You push it once, they switch around, and the door opens, and you press it again, and it closes. So, it's very, very useful because you, know, you can just have one button somewhere, and uh, you know, you don't have to use a lever. So. It works nice, it's nice and simple. So, um, here's another demonstration. This is on another world I've got that I've just brought into this, into this world. Um, so, now you press the button, that flips around, brings up these pistons. You can walk across, and you can set up another one on this side if you want. And then you press it again, and they detract. All looks normal. Um, so. You know, T flip flops are very useful. I've used them a lot. You'll uh, often see them in adventure maps because they take so little space and they look just better than using levers. Um, they can work along, you know, any amount of buttons along a wall. They all work fine. So you've got no problem with kind of your lim limit, like how much you're limited. Can <laughs> could find the right word there. Um, so I'll show you how to build one of these. Uh, There's just a basic one set up over here. 
looks like that. So first thing you need to do is make a two block hole in the ground next to each other. Put a redstone torch in one of the places, doesn't really matter which. Then you're going to put a block above that. And then a sticky piston. And a normal piston on the outsides of the hole. Two blocks above the block you placed. Put some redstone along the top. Redstone torch on each end. That will power one of them, whichever one you put down first. Um, and then you're going to put a button on there. It doesn't matter which way you put it. They both work. Um, and then you know you put down some redstone on the other side, whichever side the torch comes from. So we've currently got it on the left. If you put it on the right, put it on the right. But I've put it on the left, so it'll go here. So we can just trail this round just so you can see it working. We'll use a piston for now. So there you go. Toggleable, toggleable, toggleable button. So it's very good, very handy. Um, I'll now show you a AND gate. This is another method you could use. Um, a bit more complex, but it's you know, still relatively simple compared to some things you can do with this game, um, like some of that crap over there. Um, I didn't make that, by the way. I haven't got that much time on, on my hands. Um, so what we've got here is an AND gate. Now, it uses two levers. You know, and they have to both be off to open the door. So you can use this in a in a server if you really want to be secret about opening a door. You can have one lever, say, I don't know, on a building over there, and then one over there somewhere. Link them together, so they've got to both be depressed um, through before it opens. Um, so here is one that's kind of underground a little bit. You can hide this better than this. You could put the these blocks into the ground and put the levers on top. Either way works. So there you go. I need to have both down to do it. So I'll explain how you make this. So take three blocks. You can do it with four or five, however many you fancy. And then put two redstone torches on each end on the top. Two levers below those. Now put a bit of redstone in the middle, so that links them together, doesn't do anything yet. On this side, if you want the levers to be up and then the doors closed, you need to put a redstone torch to invert the signal. If not, you can just, just trail it like that, but it will mean whatever you power is always on. Um, you know, so if you're using it in the light switch method, you need to have it the other way around. So just put a torch on, on the side. That will then invert it. So there you go. So you can yeah hide all this very easily. Also, what you could do is if you have two different blocks that look for decoration, you know, quotes decoration, but you put two levers on and it fires off something would be very good. Um, so just an idea. So yes. So there's uh, a few methods you can use. So we've got T flip flop to make a like a drawbridge. Not a draw drawbridge. Uh, to open a open a door. You've got your different doors. Ones that are hidden and ones that aren't hidden. And, uh, yeah, how to hide your circuitry. So hopefully this has been some use to you and also to my uh, Halad friend. Um, so, yes, references for her there. You, Some of you guys will get that as well, but there you go. Um, so, yes, that's how to make toggle, T-flip-flops, and gates, hide your circuitry. And uh, yes, so thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, Ticket will be up tomorrow, hopefully. Maybe a bit later on because I've got, got work and stuff, but never mind. Uh, so, yes, thank you for watching this video, and I'll leave you all with a cobblestone generator that I've put together. Well, 
kind of I put that little bit on <laughs> so yes thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video